what is the essence of sin in objectivism? What is the, what is the essence of evil in objectivism? What is the thing, the cardinal sin? What is the cardinal sin for objectivism that leads to all other sins? What is the cardinal sin of objectivism that, that leads to every other sin, every other vice, every other evil that is possible? Well, it's not ignorance. No, 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 no. Ignorance is not a sin. Ignorance in and of itself is just the state you're in. You, it's resp- you're responsible for not being ignorant, but no. In objectivism, not in Christianity, Frank. It is irrationality. It's not thinking. It's evading. Evading facts. Evading reality shutting down your mind, refusing to think, or purposefully ignoring facts that should be part of your thinking, so in a sense, pretending to think. So the cardinal sin in objectivism is irrationality, evasion, lack of thinking, not willing to think. So keep that in mind, right? If, if you remember when we talked about the objectivist virtues, if we talked about the objectivist virtues, all the virtues are really aspects of rationality. All the virtues are the application of rationality to different aspects of life. I was going to do a show on the unity of virtues. I still, I'll do a show on the unity of virtues at some point where we talk about this in more depth. But rationality is the essence of virtue, in objectivism. All virtue integrates into rationality. If you're a rational person, and if you apply rationality consistently throughout your life, through your relationship with others, through your relationship with reality, through your relationship with yourself, through your relationship with the needs of human existence, of human survival, then you are a good person. That is mo- the essence of morality. And the essence of immorality is the negation of that. It's when you don't do that. It's when you ignore the rational, when you are irrational. That is objectivism. It, it's very integrated is the word. It's very integrated. Uh, for, for, For objectivism, morality boils down to use your mind. Think. Think for the purpose of living. The purpose of morality is to guide our living. The way to do it is by thinking. And the purpose of living is to be happy. It's life. Fully as a human being. Ignorance is not a vice. Ignorance is something to be overcome. It's a challenge. We're all ignorant of something. The things you don't know. It's an, an important decision to stay ignorant. That would be a vice. Not to do the work necessary to figure it out. But, but all, of, all of the objectivist ethics is geared towards your survival as a human being, which... Survival in this context means you're living to the best of your ability. You're living the best life possible to you based on your mind with the goal of attaining happiness. Now, what, for example, is the objective's view of pleasure? Well, if the purpose of survival, if the purpose is flourishing, if the purpose is happiness, then pleasure is great. We love pleasure. It has to be rational in a sense that the pleasure is not undercutting anything. It's not hedonistic, short-term, unthinking, undermining of other values. But pleasure as a guide, in, as, as, a, as, a, as a 
as an experience is something we relish. Because the purpose is to live well. And to be happy and pleasure is a huge part of that. You want to feel good. Now, the alternative that is presented in morality is altruism. To, you know, so in, in, in objectivism, it's your life, your pleasure, your therefore your mind, discovering the values necessary for your happiness and pursuing them, rationally. In Christianity, the purpose is not your life. The purpose is what? What is sinful? What is essentially, fundamentally sinful in Christianity? Well, what's sinful in Christianity is you. Your well-being, your success, your pleasure, your joy, your happiness. The purpose of life is not to be happy. The purpose of life is not to enjoy, to have pleasure. The purpose of life is what? It's the next life. It's the next life. This life, not important. So in that context, the, so the essence, in a sense, of, of Christian ethics is not so much the helping of others. The essence of Christian ethics and the essence of altruism in our culture is not about others. The essence is the denial of self. The essence is the denial of of selfishness in any sense. The essence of Christian morality is selflessness. The only purpose of pursuing self is to sustain you so that you can serve God through maybe serving others, but to serve God through serving others. But the everything is geared towards selfless. Ness. You must not think of self. You must not take your own pleasure into account. You must not think of what is good for you. Because you must submit. You are nothing. You are not worthy. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx 
uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.